Sysmobile Lab is a fine element software designed to optimize mesoscale simulations in structural and geotechnical engineering. And it's been founded, this project, by the PG&E company and it's been developed uh, by two universities, the University of Nevada in Reno and also Caltech. So as you can see in this diagram, uh, Sysmobile Lab consists in two modules, the pre-analysis and the run analysis. For the pre-analysis, you need to provide with a Python script, as you can see here, in order to generate the final element model. Also, this uh, module will create the degree of freedom numbering, will create the partitions, and along with that, will generate um, the JSON files to be used in the run analysis, as you can see here. These uh, files will be the input for the run analysis, which is a C++ program, which will parse these uh, files will generate the final element model, will perform the analysis of the final element model, and will generate the response of the output file. Those, those output files are shown here as response.out and also an animation if you would like to, to have. So in, in, in basically, this is the structure of the software. It's a Python, it's a Python program uh, and also a C++ program. So if you go and see closer to the um, SVL uh, file, you will find two folders, the pre-process and the run process. The pre-process contains all the files that are provided for the pre-analysis. It consists of four folders, the core, method, methods, and parser. In core, you will find a bunch of uh, the Python scripts, mainly the definition.py, for instance, that you will see here, in which you will find the declaration of the option and entity dictionaries that you will need to, to fill. Also, you will find the sysmobilab.py file, which will allow you to create the run analysis files and create the partitions. And also, utilities will have like very useful uh, functions that you could see. Um, in method, you will have the attach.py file that will allow you to add nodes, elements, and loads. Also, the compute.py uh, file will allow you to add diagram constraints, rigid links, and so on and so forth. And the builder will allow you with very simple uh, functions to create uh, volume domains, uh, to remove domains, to merge domain, and so on. And finally, the display will allow you to render the data so you can see it in, in, a, in a VTK or Paraview. On the other hand, in the run analysis folder, you will find like all the C++ implementation of the software. This is the core or the main part of the software. You will see like you, you will have uh, folders like the node in which you will have defined the um, coordinates, three degree of freedom and so on. Also, if you go inside the, the element folder, you will find all the elements that have been defined in, in Sysmobile Lab. For instance, the frame you will see the implementation of the three-dimensional linearized frame in 2D in, in, this, in this file. Um, and this internal structure you can see will allow you to, click, to quickly add materials and so on, or, or sections and elements. Um, so, how Sysmobile Lab can be run? Uh, that's the next question. So, first of all, you might need to export the Python path and in which in this quotation mark, you will add where the pre-process is. In this case, it's, in, it's located in the Nilo desktop SVL. Uh, once you hit enter, you could actually uh, use the Python 3 uh, program. And when that is open, then the next thing you can do in order to use all the functionalities of the pre-analysis is just to import Sysmobile Lab as an SVL as you would do with any other uh, library in Python. So once you hit enter, you will see like this header will be displayed. And then you are ready to actually use all the functionalities in the pre-analysis. For instance, if you want to add a node, you use the add node function, you give the provide the tag, the number of degree of freedom, the coordinates, and that will give you like the addition of this was success. Similarly, you can add a material in which you give all the, the variables and fill all the fields you need, and you will add it similar, in, in a similar fashion. Uh, you can print all the nodes you have identified so far using the SVL entities uh, the dictionary and then 
you can all the similarly you can actually print all the materials you have been defined so far uh, you can use the CLC um, function in SVL to clean the, the the command line you can also use the yes the save as functionality we have implemented in, in the pre-analysis that would allow you to save for instance in this case in the SVL file.py all the progress you have done in the, in the Python command prompt. So if you open this file as an example to see what is in, what it is inside, you will see like a bunch of things has been defined. For instance, many options has been defined for this project that we're gonna discuss later. Like for instance, the, the dimension of the program and also the number of partition we're going to use. But also you see like here the add material and the add node functions has been called because we already defined those two things. So if we leave this file, uh, we would like to know how a proper file will look like. So uh, let's check in the point two structure folder, uh, a predefined example like the cantilever trust.py here. And let's take a look into this file. So let's open uh, the, the file and we'll see like many things has been uh, provided. Like for instance, the Sysmobilar has all, again been imported as SVL, options has been defined as the number of dimension is three and the number of partitions is going to be one. Uh, several nodes has been defined as you see here and also like some elements has been added in, in this case some kinematic three-dimensional trust of the two nodes. If you go to the end of the file you will see like loads has been added in a combination, has been added in, 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 in a similar way, and an analysis, an algorithm, an integrator, and many other things. And finally, we create the run analysis files in order to be executed in the, in, in the C++. So now in order to execute this, uh, this uh, script, we just call the Python 3 software, and then we provide with them with the path where the cantilever trust.py file is, is located. So once you hit enter, you will see at the very last, like it gives you a command in order to execute the run analysis. So if you go into where this file is located, you will see like once you execute the, the run analysis, uh, three folders are going to be created. The Paraview folder, the partition and the solution folder. Inside the Paraview folders in the nonlinear trust beam uh, folder, all the information that is has to do with animations are going to be stored. In the partition you will see like this JSON file has been created that has all the information of the model translated into, into JSON in a JSON structure. So if you open this folder, this file, uh, you will see uh, like the global variables combination, recorder, materials and so on and so forth has been created uh, in a in a, in, a, in a very organized manner. So this is going to be the input file for the run analysis that is going to take as we saw in the very first slide. Uh, in a similar fashion, if you go to the solution folder with the same uh, folder name, all the files that are going to be created after you run the run analysis will be stored in this folder. So let's continue with the execution. So remember like the last line gives you the, the, the line you should write and you should you should run in order to to execute the run analysis so you just copy this line which has where this is mobilab.exe uh, file is the executable also gives you with the directory where the the, the 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 json files are if you hit enter you will see that this uh, analysis will be run and once it reaches a hundred percent it means like the simulation is already done so if we get back to 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 the to the folder to the folder we have been working on you will see like many many animations files have been created with the bdk extension these files are supposed to be open with with paraview and in the solution file you will see the similar thing there is a very simple file that if you open it, you will see like it has a very simple structure. So for instance, three columns are actually store the, the, the displacement of the last node that we have stored, uh, which is the displacement X, Y, and also the rotation. 